for anyone that's trying to watch this, but let's see if we can get through a bit of Theodora without crashing for a change. Unlikely, but I do really want to play this game. We're now trying with one stick of RAM removed. If we crash, we try again with a different stick of RAM removed. Whoa, I'm feeling uh, a little lack of performance without it, though. Okay, now let's try and remember what was going on as well. Uh, yes, I had my backup troops waiting here for if Muscovy decided to rear their ugly head again. And I'm pretty much just allowing Sweden to do the fighting on the Polish and Novgorodian front for me. Actually, kudos to Novgorod, they managed to make quite the army. But the AI is not afraid of loaning and murking up in order to win a war. How uh, almost... Almost admirable of them. Remember, get those 10 to 1s wherever possible. Hmm. That was not a 10 to 1, but I'll take victory. <laughs> I'll take uh, Muscovy falling down as well. Jake, will you take Bessarabia this time? This seems to be a common question. Well, Bulgaria is being kind enough to go for it, and I do have my claim on it, so yes, I suppose we shall take Bessarabia. I want to take Bessarabia, and what else was there? Is there anything in my accepted culture? Yes. Padoli. Together that makes uh, 36%, and I'll take one of these as well. We struck would be nice. But I need to focus on uh, our friends in Muscovy for now, since I need that war over first. Goodbye Western Arms Trade, but you were uh, not a necessity. Hmm. What is even my war goal with you? Tarnaval! We need to get that to get our war score on the go, so Bulgaria, please make your move on it. Although you are a little preoccupied. We won't need much of an army down there, so 3,000 young suckers should be able to take care of it. Whilst you guys split in half and continue the campaign here. Splitting his half is dangerous, or must we still have such a stack there? But what is life without danger? Not worth living, if you ask me. Manpower no longer such an issue now that thankfully we have uh, quantity ideas. Sweden have military tech 13, so they do beat Poland. They beat them better when they use cannons, though, because that's a great strength, about 13 cannons become considerably stronger. Alright, we've almost hit five minutes out of crash, which is a good start, but it is only a start. Also, Sweden, what are you doing marching back home? Force marching back home at that. No, you've decided to come back for more. Seems that the Poles want to meet up with the Novgorods and probably smash into the Swedes. We'll see how that works out for them. Now again, it'll be somewhat interesting if the game runs fine with this, because there was a wee bit of a dodgy hinge on that RAM seat. But then again, every time we think we've got it sorted, we've been like, ah oh, yeah, that, that was uh, a plausible problem. And it ends up just being nothing. It ends up just failing again anyway. Hmm. Well, Aki, I want a piece of us. They can't have it. I have no problem with Sweden getting their arses kicked here. I think if I get enough war score on Muscovy, they're not going to call in any friends anyway. Oh wow, Wallachia actually whooped me silly. Where are they getting all that morale from? Ah, uh, military drill. Defensive ideas are great, there's no question about that. Good 
going perm, you reject those Muscovites. And you're doing a great job of it. Sweden's really feeling this. Why are they performing so poorly? Hmm. Seems they want this land. That's probably going to work out well for me. Actually, no, they haven't sent... They haven't... Uh, Switch the siege over to me because it doesn't border any of my provinces. It's not that they are that keen for the land. Kind of over sieging around here. Unnecessarily so, since the threat isn't here. As long as I keep my eyes on these force marching Muscovites. Uh, they seem more interested in getting their Permian lands back. Quite. They seem to be coming along this way, which will be bad news for me if they make a, a move towards Yaroslav. Yes! Epirus back on the map. As was preordained. No claims, no cores, and uh, Venice has a claim on them. Also, the Sicilian Mafia, doing pretty well for themselves. Ah. <sighs> All is well, except for this. This is uh, this is not so well. Right, sure enough, they're coming here. They want to mass their forces on me, so I'm going to step back to Vladimir since it's woods. It's a little more defendable. Hopefully, Novgorod. Uh, ooh. That isn't hopefully anything. I have the option of fighting Muscovy. My morale is far be should be far better than theirs. Okay, maybe not far better since they have military drill. But their prestige can't be looking too good and I have plenty of men here. Not lead, but still men. Probably bring in Andronicus Said for that. Alright, I am liking Vladimir, but I think we need to crush them. He gets Kasimov on the 5th. Nah, I wouldn't be able to get him there. Don't mind fighting him in the steppes, though. Steppes are pretty neutral land. And sure, I'll get a river crossing penalty, unless you arrive there first. I don't think you arriving on the scene is going to negate the river crossing penalty. Alright, let's choke him out. Probably going to go down south through Penza and friends, so let's see what we can do. And sure enough. And he's sitting in steps with no rivers, so let's just go and attack. be about four days with no general. I think we can survive that. Okay, sure enough we have a morale uh, bonus over him. Not a great one. Not a great anything in this battle. Alright, we've passed ten minutes and no crash. Then again, we did that before with uh, this very same ram in the machine, so I don't know what to think. Hmm. You're a great siege man, it's a bit of a waste having you fight. 
but someone needs to teach these Russians. Let's just march through that attrition. I forgot about them. Oh well, no need to worry. The Swedes are taking care of everything else. Once they take this, they'll probably cede that land to me. Maybe cede is the wrong word, but they will give control to me. Hmm. Odd retreat path for you to take, but don't overly mind. Note that I'm not doing the little trick with moving my troops anymore, because uh, manpower isn't such an issue anymore. Our PP's falling now, which is a shame. general, but I can bring a general to the party. That's probably going to dissuade them from attacking. Yeah. It's fine. I'll take the fight to them. too concerned about the poor state of the Polish front, because we have the Swedes to soak up all the damage there. And they're giving some lovely attrition to the Poles. Yeah, the Swedes can, uh, can take care of that. I don't overly care. But I do want to keep these Muscovites on the back pedal. I also want to keep these lands under siege so that they don't run back here to uh, to retreat. So Muscovy's biggest strength in my eyes is the fact that they uh, they have such big lands that they can retreat through. It gives them plenty of time to regain morale, and since they tend to run faster than you can, when you chase up to them, you've lost men to attrition, and they have not. during this time I can uh... oh shoot that was not the plan that was not the plan at all just handing these guys free battles if I do that hmm Leaves myself to having split forces. Alright, forget about that then. Hold in Moscow instead. Allow the Swedes to do the dirty for me. minutes without a crash, so that's glorious. Who would have thought that would be something to celebrate? Right, what are you doing? You're going to go to Morom and probably head north to attack those. That's alright, that's tolerable. He's removing loads of his units. Is he going bankrupt? He has 20 loans and he's lost a good chunk of his income. If he goes bankrupt, he's going to explode. 
Not to mention, he still has a whole bunch of overextension. Not enough to give him bad events, but it's still going to be bad. Look at him just dismissing units, because he can't afford them. Okay, this is actually pretty good. It's better that I don't fight that stack and maintain sieging. I want to let him run away there. Give him five days. One, two, three, four, five. He gets out. And the sieging continues. There we go. That's us got enough war score, so we shouldn't have to worry about anything here. We'll also take care of Wallachia and give that to Bulgaria. And as expected, Sweden decided to give these lands to us. How very generous of them, despite being friendly to Poland. Okay. It's not very nice of you. But he's fighting me with just artillery. They will dominate us on the fire phase, but what a strange way to fight. Detach a quick uh, relief force for them, please may not arrive in time. Yeah, see, fire, and they do tons of damage. Shock, they, uh, they cannot hold their own. And if I attack them... Hmm, actually, if they're in battle, that doesn't work out so well for me. I hope I don't wipe them. Flee! Good. They flee, so he has to pay reinforcement costs on them now. What a terrible day to be Muscovy. Yeah. <clears throat> this is an interesting event, because it gives 100% extra of something. What do I want here? The manpower is pretty good, but you can't say no to money. 100% extra taxes for five years. Pretty good. Yeah, Twitch has some strange censoring rules in that if you post something that is censored, you can see it, but nobody else can, leaving people unsure as to whether or not something is actually censored. I need to take care of these Wallachians because they're sieging up my land. through the horrible, attritious lands of Muscovy just to just to take care of them. Muscovy didn't complete defensive ideas, so that's alright. It's only the winter we have to deal with. I'm really liking Sweden as a friend. Maybe they'll give me their trade power as well, to further solidify how good buddies we are. And since they don't hold Germanic lands... Touch wood. Yeah, as long as they don't establish Swedish po- Oh god, there is this, isn't there? Uh, oh, Revel is Prussian as well. Oh, maybe they'll just revolt so uh, we can take them without having to fight. Jake, please release Styria from Austria. Those cores are not going to last much longer. And I'm not all that interested. What can I do to help? He has to pay maintenance for those if they uh, if they're around, so I don't really mind. Oh, if Muscovy goes bankrupt, that would be glorious. Is Lithuanian culture accepted? No, nobody ever accepts Lithuanian culture, and uh, we are no exception to that rule. Starting to get some real war exhaustion from this war, but that's all right. We don't mind.
20 loans. I mean, how many loans can I have? I can have 73 of them. Okay, well, uh, maybe Mo maybe the Muscovy will not be going bankrupt, but it'll certainly take a toll on them at the very least. I'd like to stop them from having vassals too, since vassals give uh, actually quite a bit of strength to any nation. So let's get them sieged up, meaning my hunter-killer army is a little under strength. But they shall fight nonetheless. Exhaustion. Not that lots of their country is under occupation, but when you don't have much of a country, little bits really add up. They're probably going to go for reserve and start attacking in Torzok, which is not good for me, but Polotsk would help us out. No, they would not. Ah, they would, and they've got forced march as well. Glorious. Not so glorious. No, actually glorious. Let's pray for your life. Ah, the four one one lives on. Hmm, things not looking so good unless Polotsk can pull one out here, or at least survive. Yeah. Be gone, Muscovy, and keep taking those loans going. Yeah, they've taken another. And just where are you going to run to? Not the best of war to fight this whole war on two fronts thing, especially when one of them is uh, still a fairly powerful Russia. But it was important for me to draw uh, Sweden into this war. Plus, it's more fun when your enemies are big and scary. Oh man. He ended my core creation there. Which is something I was needing since uh, we're overextended as it is. Yes, I will be releasing a, uh, a Teutonic Order to mop up the Prussian lands. Good thinking, but it's what we planned. I should really be focusing on, uh, on Poland, but I just want Muscovy to fall. If they're completely occupied, I don't really care about this, but if the rest of Muscovy is completely occupied, they should end up going bankrupt since they'll have no money to support all these units that they want. I need a stronger defense here, though. This, uh, this little stack isn't quite going to cut it. Let's sink that manpower, lads. There's point in having it if you don't spend it. With any luck, Sweden will convert those provinces to Swedish anyway. Yeah, that would actually be quite lucky for me.
What a major war, but this is the war that will cripple Muscovy for good. More so than all the land that I ever gave them. It's also interesting that you're probably going to try and relieve your siege here, aren't you? Yep. Uh, it'll be a shame if Bulgaria comes and helps us out with that, because it'll drop this siege. Maybe I can back myself up. You have a general, so it's likely you'll win this. You've got Tech 15? You're definitely going to win this unless Bulgaria can really help us out. That tactics, that one point of morale difference, huge. Come on, Bulgaria. Hot damn. Scary. that 12 stack of mine. If you're going to sit around smelling your own farts, do it in bells. Unfortunately, Muscovy now don't have any expenditure, so it's unlikely I'll make them go bankrupt. Really, I could make peace now. are certainly getting their cores back, and I also want them to get rid of your vassal here. Ah, but part of the deal was that I wanted to take Munchinia. You should use some mercs for the sieging. Ordinarily, yes, but now I don't have to worry about that. Because we took quantity. Kills the uh, alliance between Novgorod and you. I also want to siege up what's left of Novgorod, but uh, I fancy separate peace in Poland. I'm not sure if I want to annex Novgorod or not. A claim on the province of Novgorod would certainly help. Oh, swell. Denmark's coming for them, and yeah, there goes a chunk of Muscovy's land. Which will be brought into the Astrakhani fold soon enough. Yeah, the enemy's got practically nothing I should really... Uh Focus on finishing them off. 